We're talking about dual diagnosis. As fall rolls around, so does flu season. And yes, it is possible to test positive for the flu and COVID-19. In fact, it's happening in our region. Hate to hear it. 12 News investigator Lauren Hinsley with us live off the top here at 6. Lauren, you're looking into how this happens and also how we can protect ourselves. Yeah, Jordan and Dejanique, flu season is here, and unfortunately, a lot of the flu symptoms look very similar to COVID symptoms, so you really need a test in order to find out. And according to doctors with the Medical Center of Southeast Texas, they have diagnosed patients with both COVID-19 and the flu. It's a double dose. We're now getting into flu season. <coughs> of virus. So we do have the COVID pandemic. Within the past few weeks, a handful of patients at the Southeast Texas Medical Center have tested positive for both COVID-19 and the flu. You can have dual diagnosis, dual infection. You can be infected with both. Um, and you could technically be infected with strep, COVID, and flu. Being sick with different viruses at the same time can make your recovery more difficult. If you want to avoid that, try this. The big take home though is people should be getting their flu vaccines. The CDC says October is the best month to get vaccinated, but there's always time. Better late than never, but if you can get it early, um, you wanna get it early. If not for your own health, consider this. Now you add flu patients in with the COVID patients and yeah, it's concerning. Again, do you overload the hospitals? Is there that chance? The looming threat of additional hospitalizations due to the flu has medical health professionals asking everyone to do their part and protect themselves with a flu shot. I just got mine actually right before we did this interview. Be getting his flu shot and guys, if you don't like needles, if um, you don't like that, there's always the nasal spray. You can doc talk to your doctor or pharmacist to see if the shot or the nasal spray is right for you. Lauren Hensley, 12 News.